Hello again! Welcome back to Cooking with Smog. This is just a little addendum for you. After the soup I made yesterday, the sweet is like roast red pepper, I, I had something in my mind I knew I'd forgotten. What it was? Croutons! Ah, so just a little five minute thing and I'll show you how I do my little croutons. You may think croutons are quite simple but I think mine are very tasty so I think it's worthwhile showing you. So, ingredients today are a hot pan, we always have a hot pan, garlic, olive oil, mixed herbs, parsley, salt, pepper. That's all I'm using. So, I'm going to start off with olive oil into the hot pan. Now I'm going to cover the whole bottom of the pan. As so. Crush my garlic straight into there. And I'm going to use one clove of garlic per slice of bread. It might seem like a lot, but this is all good flavour. So there we go. Right, I'm going to fry off the garlic for about just a couple of minutes there. Yeah? In the meantime, I'll chop the bread. I'm going to take all the crusts off. I'm using wholemeal bread because it's got all the whole goodness kept in for you. It doesn't matter, you can use white brown bread, any type of bread really. You just want to cut it. I'm going to keep these crusts so we use it for breadcrumbs later on. Let's throw them in the bin. Okay, just going to cut these into about one centimetre square. And so. The croutons I like to use, um, as I, I like to use them in like pepper soup, I already said, and you can use them in tomato soup, pea and ham soup. They don't work so well in lentil type soups, things like that, but you can put them anywhere you like. So I'm just going to put them straight into the pan. And right now I'm also going to add my mixed herbs. So just a little sprinkle over the top and a little sprinkle of parsley. This just gives it a little bit of flavour and just a nice bit of colour also. So I've turned the heat up high on that. I think it's a bit dry so I'm going to add a little bit of butter here. A couple of little knobs of butter. And I'll just fry them up for about three or four minutes. Well that's the croutons nearly ready. They've been Cook away for a couple of minutes, so I've just been flipping them over now and again. I'm just going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper and just a touch of salt. And that's that. That's then finished. Look, nice crispy crouton. There we have it. 